Hey guys, we're over at Keep's house in Fenton. We are gonna do a replacement of a furnace and AC. We're starting here at the breaker panel. He's got a general electric load center. There's two breakers here. There's a double 30 on the top and a double 60 underneath it. I imagine that 60 is probably for the oven. Double 30 there is most probably for the AC outside. <clears throat> I'm gonna walk around over here to the other side of this wall. And we're in the furnace um, room here, so we will uh, we'll pull this furnace out. We'll set our new furnace and coil in place. Um, I can do a B with system here, so we're gonna rebuild a new transition up here on the top up into the ductwork, that's 14 inch ductwork. So there's probably an A with furnace in here originally. <clears throat> um, the return drop's gonna be resized. We're gonna do a five inch transition over here to this side. Um, so we'll, we'll bend that out by five and a half inches and then we'll be able to squeeze our five inch April Air Media cabinet in. So it'll be a 10 by 26 by 80 and a quarter return drop with a seven inch um, or five inch thick media filter down there in the bottom um, new coil on top it'll be a three and a half ton coil up into the ductwork refrigerant lines it's a nice short run these are improperly sized so we'll do new refrigerant lines from here to the outdoor they just run straight out this direction <clears throat> um, humidifier if they choose to do one um, we're probably gonna have to uh, wiggle some things around to get a humidifier in there properly unless we kind of do what they did right here um, But that flue pipe is uh, Pretty darn close. We're gonna rebuild the flue pipe for the water heater anyway um, And put in a new swivel tee on the other side A gas and electric are all good. We'll just retie onto that and then we got vinyl tubing from here down to the floor drain um, that should pretty much be everything. Let me give you a good overview there. Um, out here, we'll look at the swivel tee really quick. So we're going to replace this whole swivel tee. Um, so we're going to have a 5-inch by 4-inch by 3-inch swivel tee with a 5-inch clean-out cap on the bottom. Um, and they just run straight through the wall right there. That should be everything here for this one. Four unit. So we'll pull this little concrete pad up, set our new unit down in place. We'll redo the refrigerant lines as I said inside and we'll do a new disconnect box there on the wall. Should be pretty straightforward install. That is all.